easy being breezies. Really, it ain't. So Fluttershy is helping the town with welcoming these tiny fairy creatures called breezies with moving magical pollen from one dimension to another? Because my little pony and we ain't gotta explain sh So an accident happens? And some of them get blown away and Fluttershy manages to save them? Aww, they're so cute! I can't imagine what a tiny, precious voice they have. Oh, I understand the language of all kinds of creatures. Ooh, you must be so proud. And you speak my language too? I can. This lot can only understand you. Clearly, they're not the brightest bunch around. Well then, guess I never thought of hearing the chef from Muppets with an anger issue. So Fluttershy has been taking care of the Breezies, but Seabreeze is like... Yeah, that. My maturity is boundless. Except for right now. So Seabreeze is mad because he's surrounded by lazy bums and the Breezies are using their cuteness to be... Lazy bums? Until Seabreeze is like, Buck this noise, I am out! But didn't realize, Dang nature, you scary! And Flutters had to shake our buzz thing to save him from bees. Rainbows. So Fluttershy realizes, You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. No, no, really, you all have to go home. But due to, insert complicated thing here, the main six turn into Breezies to help the others get home, and we see that Seabreeze was just trying to be with his family instead of going out to get milk forever. So Fluttershy learns she can't enable people as a way of being nice and has to do what's right for them no matter what, even if it's being mean. A lesson that will strongly come into play with Guess who's home? It's not your time yet! <laughs> it ain't easy being Breezies. It's also not easy being a reviewer. It's the end of the video, yay! You know what to do. Click on these thingies and follow me on these thingies and enjoy the madness. Yay!